pretty much every Georgia fan on planet Earth got themselves one of these things right here, okay? Pretty much every Georgia fan's got one. This is a Coke bottle from 1980, okay? I, I guess you can read that. This is a Coke bottle from 1980, the last time the Georgia Bulldogs won the national championship. And pretty much every Georgia fan's got one of these. Look how old and rusty this, the top of this thing is. Pretty much every Georgia fan's got one of these. If Georgia loses today, Uncle Lou will open and drink this Coke bottle. Live on YouTube for you. Y'all can try to argue and make yourself look stupid in the comments section if you want to. Hell, you've been doing it for three weeks already anyway. But this will be the excuse after the game. Oh, you know, Mike Stoops, we, we, I, I told you we should have fired Mike Stoops. This guy don't know what he's doing. He's got not no defense. You know, Mike Stoops, we, I, I've been saying we should fire this guy for five years. When the Christ like a crown, a negativity calculate what we will. Will not tolerate desperate to control all and everything unable to forgive this scarlet letter. Hey, good morning, Uncle Lou here. Yep, that's right, it's me, Uncle Lou. i for you on YouTube today. Thanks for watching, and it's game day. It's finally here, so the time for all the trash talking and the back and forth with the fans and all that is coming to an end, and it's time for these two teams to go out and handle business on the field, and that's exactly what Uncle Lou expects to happen today uh, when my Georgia Bulldogs go out here uh, and take care of some light work without a problem. But I wanted to make one more video about, about this game and specifically about the Oklahoma defense and their defensive coordinator, Mike Stoops. Now, for the last two or three weeks, Uncle Lou has been preaching on here, there is just no way Oklahoma is stopping Georgia's ground game. It's just not happening. And that's the recipe for a Georgia win today, obviously, against any legitimate team, is to be able to run the ball, control the clock, and throw when we want to, as opposed to throwing when we have to. And for that reason, it matches up well for Georgia to go against a team with a terrible defense, which is what Oklahoma is. That's what I have been saying. That has been my consistent theme from the day this game was announced. Okay, that hasn't changed. And Oklahoma uh, Boomer fans, all in the comments section, uh-oh, uh, our defense gonna shut you down. Defense gonna shut you down. Our, our defense gonna shut you down. They even tried naming a few Jamoke players that nobody outside of Norman, Oklahoma has ever heard of. This person do that. This person do that. Our defense, our defense is legit, Lou. Well, our defense will shut you down, Lou. Now, now, now here, here's my question, though. Here's my question. If the defense is good and the stats are just a smokescreen, right? All these terrible defensive stats that you have this year and every year are just a smokescreen and I'm an idiot and I don't know what I'm talking about. Then why are 98% of Oklahoma fans on planet Earth crying today, yesterday, last week, last month, last year, all the way back to, hell, this guy was, this guy became defensive coordinator in 2012. You guys have been crying about him since 2012. And you're still doing it now. I see it everywhere. Facebook, Twitter, other places here on YouTube. Oklahoma fans crying nonstop about Mike Stoops and their defense. But then they, then they run to the Uncle Lou comments section like cockroaches that somebody flipped the light on trying to tell me how good the defense is. Which is it? Which is it? You know your defense is terrible. Terrible. And you know you have no chance of stopping Georgia. And then they go to the, well, uh, if we can't stop you, we'll just outscore you. Yeah, that works against other defenses. Ranked in the 40s, 50s, and worse, it's not going to work against a top five defense. It's just not. And then they, they still, they still, I, this, it just, it boggles the mind. They still are like, the only reason the defensive stats are skewed so bad for Oklahoma is because we play such other good teams that score so much of points, Lou. Yeah? Really? <laughs> it, it, well, for, well, before I get any specific teams or games that's played, j just look at this. Just look at it. Now look at it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
say, <laughs> well, y'all's defense gets the try hard award. You know why? You know how hard you have to try to give up that many points. Giving up that many points does not happen on accident. You have to come out with a game plan specifically designed to give up that many points to these type teams. 41 to Baylor? Baylor? Oh, but these teams, they just score a bunch of points, Luke. Yeah, Baylor averaged 24 points a game this year. I, I guess these boomers, uh, 41. 41. Iowa State, what, what they score, 38 on you? Average 29 a game. So, 29? 20, these two teams average 29, 24 points a game. UJ averages 35. Now, if those two podunk teams, Baylor, what do they have? One win, Iowa State, seven and five, five losses, averaging 24 and 29 points a game and put up 38 and 41 respectively, then what do you think George is going to do to that Swiss cheese defense? We're averaging 35 points. I mean, what do you think is going to happen? What do you, what do you think? And the sad part is, your run defense is worse than your pass offense, defense. I, I mean, it just makes no sense. None. At all. Whatsoever. Um, this game is over. Look, listen. Y'all had a pretty good year. You're not winning this game. It's just not happening. It's, it's, it's that simple. And, uh... Hey, hey, oh, and, and people, what are you going to do? What are you going to do when UJ loses, Lou? You going to break your TV again, Lou? You going to break your TV again? Why? What? We're not losing. So the TV, I promise you my TV is not worried, but I'll make this deal with you. How about this? Now, pretty much every Georgia fan on planet Earth got themselves one of these things right here, Okay. Pretty much every Georgia fan's got one. This is a Coke bottle from 1980, okay? I, I guess you can read that. This is a Coke bottle from 1980, the last time the Georgia Bulldogs won the national championship. And pretty much every Georgia fan's got one of these. Look how old and rusty this, the top of this thing is. Pretty much every Georgia fan's got one of these. If Georgia loses today, Uncle Lou will open and drink this Coke bottle. Live on Lutube for you. And, but uh, but look, just like the TV, this Coke bottle ain't worried. You just don't have what it takes defensively to stay in this game with UGA. The game will be slowed down. Your possessions will be limited. I've told you before, you'll get your points. My prediction on this game was 34 to 30. But after doing a little bit of studying this morning on this Swiss cheese defense, you guys got, I'm going to have to revise that to maybe 44 to 30. I don't see Georgia scoring their average in this game because every other team you play this year scores over their average. I don't see why it's going to be any different for Georgia. So Georgia averages 34, 35 points a game. We should put up 44 in this game. I'll stick with uh, 30 for you, though. So Georgia 44, uh, yeah, Oklahoma 30. Have a great day and an even better morning also and two in addition to that as well.